Hi, welcome to Virtual Open House. I'm Gretchen Martin and I teach anatomy and physiology and honors anatomy and physiology. Both of them are in this presentation together. A little bit about myself. I am from Texas originally. I love my family. I love my dog Keely. We love going to the beach and we love hiking for waterfalls. How to reach me? The best way is through email, although I do not check that at night usually or through Remind with the students. Um, first and fourth period have a different code and third and sixth period have this code there. I believe all the students have registered for this, but if not, it's, Remind is super helpful. Where can students find the AMP files and if you need to find them as well? They're under uh, the general class uh, period team and then you follow the rest of these directions. I'm not going to read through them. I believe the students are able to follow through pretty easily, but just in case you could pause here and help them out. The lesson plans and syllabus are in a separate channel under the teams. The lesson plans are updated weekly and the syllabus is there. Hopefully you have actually read it and returned the form saying you have done that. The AP textbook book is online. Students had to register for that in order to do the textbook scavenger hunt. I know I've had a few new students come in, so this is something that's super important to register for. Uh, there is a particular code, and all of those codes can be found in our week one file in Teams. Students should have also picked up an AMP coloring workbook through the textbook pickup link. This is a resource they get to keep, but this is a great resource to help down the road and to help them prepare for tests. Updates will be sent through email as needed at least once for each unit. These come through Infinite Campus to your email that's provided in there. Please update that if it's not correct because I don't have the ability to change that for you. You will have to change that. How, should, how can the student do well in anatomy and physiology? They need to um, download or print the notes and worksheets before coming to class. If their file is struggling to open, notebook paper has been our friend during this virtual learning and they can write that down and either take a picture of that to turn in if it's an assignment or they can um, transfer it to the notes later. Having an organized place for, for all of their anatomy and physiology stuff and then organizing files according to units is the smartest thing to do for class. So either a, a folder on your desktop, and that's why I suggest to download the notes because sometimes Teams is spinning, 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 and, and then they get frustrated when they're behind because we have to move on. We can't spend 10 minutes waiting for some, some of the uh, files to open up. So if they've downloaded them into their file the night before, then they're ready to go. Um, I will give a review before the summative, so I recommend they go through the review and find each of these topics because it will be a topic review. Find each of those topics in their notes, highlight it, organize it, re, you know, retype it, however, re, you know, copy and paste it, have it organized and ready to go by those topics so that they can work quickly when they get to the test. We realize that that the students would be able to look up every single answer on their test in, in this um, format. So they, we are going in with the notion that they are open note tests. They will have some questions that are extension questions and they won't find those exact answers in the notes. They're going to have to analyze and, and take them a step further. The difference in honors and uh, the non-honors anatomy class is the number of those extension questions and the number of questions as well and some of the material. Um, I will cover all of the same notes because I feel like everyone um, should hear all of the, the stuff that I have to say about it, the information, um, but the, the tests are a little bit more difficult, and that honors also has a, a literature review that they do in the spring, and then we will do different case studies between honors classes and, and the non-honors class. Um, my suggestion is to treat this course as if the test and the quizzes are not open notes because that really helps you practice for the future. And, and I want them to have this stuff learned and in order for them to pull that from their memory instead of being able to look that all up all the time because this is a lot like learning a new 
language. And so if they actually try on the quizzes and see how well they have learned, that's great because those quizzes don't hurt their grades. So it's okay if they make a, a 80 or a 60 on a quiz every now and then, because that shows me that they are trying to, to, to learn it and remember it from, from memory instead of cheating and looking on the answers. Um, note cards and Quizlet will be your biggest friend in this class. Um, let's have a great year, Anatomy and Physiology. Please contact me with any questions or concerns. Encourage your students to ask questions during live lessons. Th that's my favorite part of lectures when they ask questions or bring up stories. They're getting more comfortable, but, but help them th to know that that's okay. I love those questions. Please let me know of any difficulties either with the course or outside of school um, in order for me to help. Flexibility is our goal this year, so please realize that, that we know that sometimes technology happens and sometimes life happens, and so uh, please keep in touch with us and, and definitely let me know so I can, be, uh, be, can show them that I am being flexible. I'm looking forward to a great year. It's been fun already. Thank you so much for joining me tonight.